So we're going to move on. We're going to look at some other applications of L'Hopital's rule. Now, generally speaking, L'Hopital's rule applies to what we call indeterminate forms, right? So these, these are sort of forms of limits where there is no immediate solution by direct substitution. 0 over 0 is 1, as we've seen. Infinity over infinity is another. Now we're going to look at 0 times infinity. We're going to look at infinity minus infinity, right? And so these don't really have answers either, because 0 times infinity, well, you've got to figure out what's, what's going to win, right? Is this one going to 0 faster than that one's going to infinity? Other way around, is there some balance? Same thing here, right? Infinity minus infinity doesn't really mean anything, because if, if, if both functions are going to infinity, right, the first function might be growing much faster than the other, and then the difference is not necessarily zero. The difference might be infinite. It might be some value. Okay, so let's see what we can do with these. So this particular limit here, of course, if x is approaching zero, uh, whether it's from the right or from the left, uh, then x is going to zero. And 1 over x, well, 1 over x is going to infinity. So e to the 1 over x is going to infinity, right? So this is a 0 times infinity limit. Now, the trick with limits that are of forms other than 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, the trick with these is to manipulate them to get them into a form where it is one of the ones where we know that L'Hopital's rule applies. And in this case, there's a very simple trick that we can use. We can simply write this as the limit x going to 0 from the right of x divided by e to the minus 1 over x. Um, we could also do e to the 1 over x divided by um, 1 over x. That might work out better. Let's see how this plays out. If this doesn't work for us, we'll, we'll try the other way around. Now, so what we can do here is we look at this. So now x is going to 0. Um, e to the minus 1 over x, so 1 over x is going to infinity right now, minus 1 over x. Um, so that's, you know, that's good, the other end of the exponential function, right? So that's now going to 0. So this is now a 0 over 0 limit. Since it's 0 over 0, L'Hopital's rule can be applied. Okay, so we apply L'Hopital's rule. Now, the derivative of the top, that's simple enough. That's just 1. On the bottom, we have to use chain rule, uh, right? We're going to get e to the minus 1 over x times the derivative of e to the minus 1 over, or times the derivative of minus 1 over x, which is 1 over x squared. And then you pause because this doesn't really seem to actually be making things any better, right? Because, I mean, Multiplying by 1 over x squared, you know, we got this 1 over x squared in the, in the denominator. I can multiply top and bottom by x squared. So really, now, instead of having x over e to the minus 1 over x, I've got x squared over e to the minus 1. So this is, you know, it's worse than what we had before. And in fact, if I keep going in this direction, I'm just going to keep increasing that power of x. Okay, so that's not the right approach. Is there another way that we can rewrite this? to give me a 0 over 0 limit. Well, yes. I could also write this as the limit x going to 0 from the right of e to the 1 over x divided by 1 over x. OK? And if I do it this way, we agree that e to the 1 over x is going to infinity. If x is going to 0 from the right, 1 over x is also going to infinity. L'Hopital's rule applies. Okay, so what we get is the limit x going to 0 from the right. This is e to the 1 over x times minus 1 over x squared divided by the derivative of 1 over x, which is minus 1 over x squared. And now you see that we get lucky because those cancel and we just get the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of e to the 1 over x. And as we already agreed, 
as x goes to 0 from the right, 1 over x is going to plus infinity. If x, 1 over x is going to plus infinity, e to the 1 over x is also going to plus infinity. So we get an answer of infinity. Good. All right. What about this one? So here we have to, we have to pause and think for a minute. So we, we got this to work out. This was fine. We're happy with that. Um, if x is approaching 0 from the left, well, then x is still going to 0. So this part is still going to 0. What about e to the 1 over x? Well, if x is approaching 0 from the left, that means x is negative, right? So 1 over x is now approaching minus infinity. Well, if 1 over x is approaching minus infinity, what does the exponential function look like, right? Exponential function goes like this. If we're heading that way, the exponential function approaches 0. So that's going to 0. That's going to 0. There's no need for L'Hopital's rule or anything like that. This is, in fact, not an indeterminate form. This limit is simply 0. Okay? All right. We're going to pause here, we'll come back, and we'll tackle these two, which are of the form infinity minus infinity.